What up you guys? My name is Aline, they call me Aline, and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am doing another segment of Eats with Lean, and I actually am filming something a bit different. I decided that, um, you know, if you guys didn't know, I actually really, really like Trader Joe's. And um, recently, or actually today, I took a trip to Trader Joe's early this morning, and I got a little more than what I expected to get. Um, so, I mean, this isn't that much, it's literally a bag of groceries, but I decided to kind of share with you guys, like, kind of the items that I picked up at Trader Joe's, and even try out some, like, new things that maybe, um, you guys haven't seen, and I definitely know I've never seen or even tried. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited to kind of do this, like, little Trader Joe's haul, slash, even, like, trying out a little things. Um, and also, um, I just want to give a shout out to Gisani. Um, Gisani is one of um, my closest friends and she actually loves Trader Joe's so I decided to give a shout out to her. Uh, this video is for you so um, yeah, I'm going to show you guys what's in this bag. It's pretty hefty and I'm so excited to show you guys what I have inside. But I don't know, before I rant on, I guess we could just dive right into the video. So you guys, um, in this bag that I have here. There are going to be some items that I won't be trying out today because I've actually already had it before and other things I just have to kind of like cook and I'm not going to cook them today because some of these foods are actually foods that I purchased so I can pre-make and pre-pack when I need to pack in my lunch when I go to work. So yeah, one of the first items that I actually did purchase from Trader Joe's but I won't be trying out today is this linguine with clam sauce. Um, pretty much it's just obviously linguine noodles or pasta with clam sauce and I'm very excited to try this because a couple weeks ago when my aunt from Jersey was here, um, my aunt TJ actually made linguine or pasta with clam sauce and I've been craving it so I decided to pick this up and I believe this was actually, if I can find the receipt, or if I can't find the receipt, yeah, if I can't find the receipt, this was actually... $3.99 which is yeah a little pricey but I mean this is pretty good considering that this has the servings of pasta yeah I'm pretty excited to try this and you can find this in the frozen area in Trader Joe's so the next item that I have in this bag is this Trader Joe's Thai tea mini mochi um, it's supposed to be a thin sheet of traditional mochi which is wrapped around a bite sized nugget of luscious coconut based Thai tea filling and um, I actually got this because um, my friend Gisani literally texted in a group text, raved about it, and then she shared it on her story, raved about it, and then my friend Mary got it this morning at Trader Joe's, and I decided to pick it up because why not join the club, right? So really quick, I'm just going to open this, and hopefully this is really good. Um, I actually really like Thai tea, fun fact. Um, my favorite bobas, flavored bobas, actually is actually green tea, Thai tea, or milk tea. So just to keep in mind if you ever want to buy me boba. But um, Thai tea is a really good flavor. But yeah, this is the box. I'm just going to open this really quick and I am going to cry if I open it wrong. If you guys have watched my videos before, I have a big OCD when it comes to things open a certain way. So as you can see, I am using scissors. And oh my god, look at the mochis, they're super cute. <gasps> super little. Super little. But yeah, this five second rule. I'm gonna eat one really quick. Okay. This is so good. Like, they literally got the Thai tea taste on point. I love how they're like bite size and they're like perfect to just kind of throw in your mouth and the best part if you um, are looking for a non-dairy option it says non-dairy so or actually it says right here non-dairy but uh yeah this is good and I'm definitely gonna eat some more after I film this video so the next thing I picked up from Trader Joe's is actually the thing I originally only came for Trader Joe's is this blueberry lavender flavored almond beverage and it's supposed to be a smooth creamy non-dairy beverage and as you can see it's supposed to have blueberries, it's almond milk obviously and I guess lavender and 
I don't have a cup with me because I'm actually filming in my room. Um, but I'm like literally going to be the only person in my household that drinks this because my parents don't really like to try these kind of things. And so I'm going to just drink from this. So cheers. Let me shake it a bit because I feel like maybe I'm just tripping. Okay, so this is really, really good. It's not what I expected. Um, I definitely taste the blueberry flavor. Like it kind of has that like hint of blueberry taste, which I like. And to be honest, I don't really taste the lavender too much, but I like it that way because to be honest, um, I do like lavender flavored drinks. But I don't like it to where the lavender overpowers the drink, like where it pretty much tastes like flowers. Like, I don't mind the lavender taste, but I don't want it to overpower the drink. But this is really good, and I feel like I'm going to have to run to Trader Joe's to buy another one because this is an item that I literally went back and forth for weeks, and it's been sold out for a whole month, and I finally picked it up and really, really like this. So the next thing I picked up is this gone very crazy dark chocolate covered strawberry pieces and it looks like this it's in a really cute packaging and this kind of actually reminds me of like asian or like japanese korean cookies like um that come in these kind of packages and um this is pretty much strawberries frozen strawberries and chocolate or dark chocolate but i'm gonna try it out anyways because i mean why not and it comes in a bag like this. This was actually, I believe, like, I don't know, $2.49. Mmm. Mmm. I like it a lot. I'm not I'm only gonna get one right now, but hold on. Okay. So I really like these. It pretty much is like a frozen chocolate strawberry with like a hard dark chocolate shell. It's pretty good. It's small. It's cute. But I like them. And they're easy to eat. And really quick, because I didn't mention it, this drink was actually about 2 bucks, And this was about like three fifty. in case if you guys were wondering. And now I'm going to move on to the next item in my bag. So the next item I picked up are the sun-dried apricots. I picked these up because one, I thought they were really cute and really, really convenient. I like how you can like just pull them off and then like put them in your bag. And these were actually $1.49, which is pretty cheap for Trader Joe's. And since I'm gonna probably pack this out for later, I'm just gonna actually get some scissors and cut off one to try it out. Yeah, I'm not going to open it all the way because I still kind of want it sealed. But these should be good. I mean, I like apricots. But uh, let me just open it really quick if I could even open it. Okay, so I couldn't open it at all because one, I'm so worried to break my nail. So I'm just literally grabbing scissors, puncturing it, and like just going to pull out one little piece of apricot. And pretty much they taste like dried apricots. Nothing special, but I just thought they were cute and convenient to take on the go. So the next thing I wanted to share with you guys is this vegan cream cheese. It's dairy-free, lactose-free, it's plain flavored. And um, I've actually tried this already, so I don't really want to like really try it. I don't really need to try it. And I realized I accidentally dropped it, so the cap is kind of ripped but um i've tried a lot of different vegan cream cheeses and i remember I had a friend that shared this on instagram and talked about how she really liked it so i decided to pick it up and i really actually really really like this um to be 
for me anyways I feel like this kind of like has this like buttery consistency which I don't think is bad at all um, but I'm not saying it's completely like the same as like cream cheese but it's pretty close um, one the thing I like about this is the fact that it doesn't have that kind of like weird aftertaste like I've tried different vegan cream cheeses didn't like any of them at all but this is like my favorite vegan cream cheese like I've tried Daya and like other different vegan brands from like Whole Foods and Sprouts but this is like my go-to and this I want to say was about $3.99 it's a little pricey but for a vegan option it is pretty inexpensive considering that a lot of vegan cheeses are expensive but yeah if you are looking for a dairy free um, or lactose free alternative to cream cheese this is one I highly recommend so the next thing I picked up are the spicy cheese crunchies from Trader Joe's and they look like this um, this bag I believe is $1.49 or $1.99 but I definitely know it's not over $2 um, I've actually tried this before so I'm not going to really try this because I've already tried it but how I can describe this this actually kind of reminds me of baked hot Cheetos and I'm not going to lie in the end of the day I still love the original hot cheetos i know there's people that don't like it but i love hot cheetos and i especially love the hot cheetos with the limon um but you know sometimes i try to find better alternatives to my favorites and um i mean this is like probably like the better option versus like the regular hot cheetos but i definitely like these um but to describe how they taste they remind me of the big hot cheetos so they're not too hot but they the heat can kind of like add on as you eat a lot but yeah spicy cheesy crunchies hop on it these are really good so the next thing i have here is probably something really random and probably a lot of people don't eat them but they are the um trader joe's dried fruit non-sorbet pitted prunes and i absolutely love this stuff um it's weird because i know a lot of people say like oh if you eat a lot of prunes like you have to use the restroom a lot or whatever restroom uh, restroom a lot um but i i don't know i like the taste of these but i do actually do eat them not like all the time but i eat them when i feel like my stomach is hurting and i kind of just need to flush everything out um these I don't know these are also a really good healthy snack sometimes I like to eat this with the side of my sandwich if I want something a bit sweet but yeah prunes it's just prunes but I believe these are either $2.99 or $3.49 but I definitely know they're not over four dollars yeah you see that put it prunes so the next thing I have here and guess what I also found the receipt so I can actually see how much this costs um it's the trader giotto's giotto's i guess sorry imported from italy oven baked cheese bites um they're made with 100 percent cheese and i guess they're gluten free and high in protein they look like this and from the price that it mentions here these are a dollar 99 so i mean i guess they're not too bad because i feel like nowadays chips are not even 99 cents like all the chips i know that are like usually a dollar for nine to one ninety nine, but I guess these are not that bad. Um, I actually haven't tried these before, so I'm gonna open this up really quick. And of course, you guys know I had to get my scissors because I'm so weird and I don't want to mess it up. And right away, it smells like Parmesan cheese. And look at them; they look like little like cheese moons or whatever. another one so they pretty much just like baked cheese bites obviously what it says here but it's a pretty good snack if you want to snack on something small and if you love cheese I would recommend these so the last thing I actually have in this haul and I'm gonna open really quick because I love them and I shouldn't have bought them but you know what? I don't care. 
Um, they are the Trader Joe's Dress Circle Crispy Crunchy Chocolate Chip Cookies. And if you guys never tried these, you guys are missing out on life. Um, these cookies, from what it says over here, I... Okay, they're $3.99. I almost thought she didn't charge me, but they're $3.99. And I am going to take a couple bites because your girl loves these. This is so good. Look how little they are. They're so cute. I love these things. I love to eat this. Like, I can literally eat this whole container in one sitting. Okay, maybe not in one sitting, but these go off quick. I absolutely love these. And these are so good. And I'm sad because my bag is empty. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my video of my Trader Joe's haul slash me trying out some of the stuff that I purchased at Trader Joe's today. Um, I was very excited and I had lots of fun filming this video and I definitely enjoyed everything I purchased so I don't regret one single purchase from these at all. And uh, yeah. Of course, I forgot to mention, um, if you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave some love down below. I would definitely love your feedback on like, kind of like how you felt about this video or any ideas of any videos I should film. And also, if you guys have any Trader Joe's favorites, please leave them down below. And of course, I have social media. I have an Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter, and all my social media handles are all a lean to the, like a lean to the right, a lean to the front, a lean to the back, a lean to the side to side. You know what I mean? And yeah, I just want to say, ooh, I'm sorry. I just want to say thank you guys again for watching. And I hope you guys have a good day. And again, thank you guys for sitting down and checking out this video. And yeah, I keep on saying and. Yeah, until next time, it's been real and I'll see you soon. Bye.